Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Buffalo State College says it will look into its women's soccer program. Almost a dozen players quit the team and pointed fingers at the head coach. Eleven players claim Coach Nick DeMarsh degraded and insulted them. They filed a complaint with the athletic director, but some of their now former teammates are standing by the coach. It's not a matter of like playing time and being yelled at by the coach. Like it's a matter of like systematic, like and continuous like manipulation, like mental deterioration and like a emotional abuse. Those accusations were exaggerated to the extreme, I would say. They were exaggerated to a point where it's not even near the truth. We have reached out to Coach DeMarsh and the athletic director. In the meantime, the college is commissioning an independent review of the program. Well, it looks like you're going to be able to bet on the Buffalo Bills here in Buffalo if and when they make the playoffs. Seneca Resorts and Casinos says live in-person sports betting will be available at their casinos in Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and Salamanca by the end of the year. The state law that allows sports betting went into effect in July, but right now the closest place you can go is Del Lago in Waterloo. Time now to check into the forecast. Your 7 First Alert meteorologist, Andy Parker. Thank you, Jeff. Going ahead into tomorrow, it's going to be a pretty decent day. We're going to see temperatures go up to around 50 degrees. That's where they'll reside. But then we've got to watch out for the winds. They come in on Wednesday, gusts up to near 60 miles an hour by the time it's over. Going into the seven day forecast after that, the gusty winds and some rain temperatures begin to tumble. How far? Well, they go from the 50s on Wednesday with the rain and the wind down into the 30s. And it looks like we'll see a switch over to rain and snow by the time we get to Thanksgiving Day morning.